Isn't that just a smooth song? You have yeah. the vocals Keep on that, that vibe. too now. I like Keep that. Keep that vibe going. Hey. I was trying to get on the next record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. T3 heard me. He heard me. He did. We all heard it. It was good. Uh, continue with the vibes of Slum Village. Lee Thomas sitting next to Mario Lou. All right. Now, this uh, is just an interesting new report that's out today. When it comes to black drivers that get pulled over by law enforcement, and the first 45 words said by any officer will determine how that traffic stop will go. It's just an interesting thing. Now, basically, it's the first 30 seconds of any law interaction. And this is according to a study by the National Academy of Science. Now, the experts looked at police body camera footage from hundreds of routine stops that involved black drivers. Now, those stops uh, with a result of a search, handcuff, or and or arrest are nearly three times more likely to begin uh, when an officer issues a command, such as keep your hands on the steering wheel mm -hmm. or turn off the car. Uh, these proceedings also found that the words or interactions of persons behind the wheel of a car didn't seem to contribute to this escalation of forceful rhetoric or force in general. Mm. And I have been stopped. Like I told you, I've been stopped multiple times. Six times I've been stopped. Two of those times, guns were drawn. Wow. And both times when the guns were drawn on me, um, they, they said, take, first thing is, take your, take your hands off the steering wheel, roll down your window, throw your car keys out of the window. People know what I'm talking about. Put your hands outside of the car and open the car door from the outside. Put your feet on the ground. I mean, they walk you through how to get out of the car. And the only thing you can do is what they say. Right. And so it's just fascinating to me that they talk about how the way that they talk in the beginning can depict what's going to happen in that stop. Yeah, but it just seems, <clears throat> when you say the way they'd speak in the beginning, I mean, you're talking before even it's really been established what you did, what you're being pulled over yeah. for, just as soon as they get out of the car, that level of yep, yep, and I under intensity. I I understand if there is a situation in the area. I understand if my car matches that situation. Was that ever the case? Never the case. Oh. <laughs> Never the case. Never the case. Uh, Inter this is interesting to me. One, because it's, I'm just glad it's being brought to light. Mm -hmm. um, but also, on social media, I have seen uh, several videos, but there's one that's going around right now mm -hmm. of a woman being stopped, and she's telling the police officer that she doesn't, she's not required to have her driver's license uh, with her, and she's giving right. some yeah, yeah, crazy. I saw that one. Okay, yeah. um, and I'm just always surprised at how. Um, Nice they are to her? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to help you, but Thank that, you. I was very surprised with how yeah. nice and calm they yeah. and how far they let how her go. Long, I, I was like, how long they, is this video? Yeah. Before um, they went in. Yeah. 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 yeah they goes, it's just different. It's it goes, a different experience. It's way different. It's a different way experience. Different. And me not having had anything overly aggressive mm -hmm. happen to me, just knowing that it can happen. I was really surprised. I was, it was a few years ago now, but I was pulled over. Um, and the fear that immediately mm -hmm. went through my body. Yeah. Now, at the most, it was speeding, you know, on mm -hmm. the side of the highway. Mm -hmm. But I was almost paralyzed in fear. Yeah. And that it was an involuntary response. Right. And it really, really just shocked me because I know intellectually all the things that happened, but I didn't feel you know, like I was necessarily in danger in the moment. Nothing was said to me that right. was, but my body was doing things that my mind, you know, right. was not telling it to do. Yeah. I yeah. literally could not move. I was right. so afraid. Yeah. And so afraid. You just have to be calm. Uh, oh. And I found for me that it has worked is to be, first off, roll down all my windows. Yes. Yeah. If you have tinted windows, I roll down all my windows so they can see in the car. And I always look in my opposite mirror because usually there's another officer coming, coming up, up the other that side. side. Yep. Right. And so it, it's one of those things where I just, I'm as calm as possible. Mm. I make sure I pull out my card that says Fox 2 <laughs> News Reporter. Yeah. Put it right in the front of my wallet because when they see that, they usually calm down. Yeah. Uh, and I also, if I'm not able to do it, one time I got, you know, taken a handcuff on the curb. But I, when, I, when I got out of the car, I yelled to some ladies. I said, hey, I can't do anything here. If you have your phone, start recording. If not, just watch so that I have a witness. Yeah. 
and they again they calm down and they're like is there a problem like, i have no nope. problem no I'm problem just at making all. sure that they see everything and it's not just me it's just not just do. me speaking then i sat on the curb and waited for them to do whatever they're gonna do yeah myself and a producer friend of mine were riding around town going to target and other places mm -hmm. and we saw someone being pulled over and it just it was like three or four cop cars yeah. on one teenage Kid. Yeah, yeah, can't yeah. say you know what was going on never know um, but yeah but we also pulled over just to make sure to watch and it was like just to let you know we're here not be not even talking about right, the officer right. talking to that young boy who was yes, standing there just, just say we, you're not by yourself we're here we're just watching yeah and i appreciate that every mm. time yes